All right, here we have the question, what is the equation of the tangent line of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 8 at the point 2 comma 4? Okay, well, if we're looking for the line tangent to the curve, what we're looking for is we're going to be looking to take the derivative. And remember, the derivative gives us the slope of the line. So I'm going to start by taking the derivative of this function. So the derivative of this function we wind up with is 4x minus 6. Now this, remember, the derivative is the same thing as the slope of the line tangent to the curve. So if you have a line y equals mx plus b, this is equal to the slope. So this is our slope here is 4x minus 6 which is a little weird because slope should be a number, but that's why they're giving us this point here, 2 comma 4. So what we're going to do is, this is an x value and a y value. So we're going to take our x value here and let's substitute it in for x. So we get that m is equal to 4 times 2 minus 6. So m is equal to 8 minus 6, so m equals 2. Okay, so the slope of our line is 2. So then I go up to my equation here, and we get y equals 2x plus b. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to solve this for b to get the full equation here. Well, I have an x and a y value, and I have part of an equation that has x and y in it. So you just need to substitute this point into your equation. So we get 4 equals 2 times 2 plus b. So we get 4 equals 4 plus b. So we wind up subtracting 4 from both sides, and we wind up with b equals 0. So the equation of the line that's tangent to the curve at the point 2, 4, since b is 0, so this is 0, is just y equals 2x. And that's it. Now we can also look at what the graph of this looks like just to be sure. If we take our graph here, um, I go to y equals, yeah, and I type in my equation. So let's take a look. 2x squared minus 6x plus 8. And I also graph this other line, y equals 2x, so y equals 2x. And I graph it. You can see what it looks like. There's the curve. Here's the line tangent at the point 2, 4. So here's 2. 4 would be that point right there. It's only going to touch at that one point. And we should be able to see that if we go into our table here. Okay, uh, You can see the two equations. Here's our uh, curve and here's our straight line graph. Uh, at the point 2, you can see they're both at 4. It touches at that one spot and that one spot only. So there's how it's done. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to email me at beyondthetest at gmail.com.